Yo, what is going on, gang? It's your boy, Raymond. And today I'm teaming up with HowExpert.com to give you guys my five top graphic artist design tips. Let's get started. Visual hierarchy. Where do your eyes go? Lay out the contents of your design and figure out what information you want your eyes to be drawn to and remembered. You want the design to highlight that information. Ask yourself, where am I directing the eye? Tip number two, use color effectively. A lot of programs like Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, Procreate have color wheels or palettes that will give you options to find secondary colors to the colors that you're using right now. Too much contrast can get harsh if you use the darkest blacks or the brightest whites. Too many bright colors will irritate the eyes. Go too dark and you lose all your information. And make sure the images and text that you're using also correlate with the colors of the overall design. Tip number three, use the white space. You don't need to fill every pixel with information. Think about the objective of your design and what you want its purpose to be. Anything else is extra and could lead to a cluttered design. Which leads me to my next tip. Tip number four, use bleeds. So let's say you finish your design after hours of working on it, you send it out to get printed, you get an example back and all the text around the edge is cut off, missing, gone. When you work on something online, you also have to consider how transferable it is offline. IRL. So leave a quarter inch of white space around your design and an extra additional quarter inch of white space just to make sure all your text fits in the safe zone. Once you got your safe zone planned out, you don't have to worry about anything getting cut off. And last tip, tip number five, have fun. The actual tip number five is study references around you. This is graphic design. This is graphic design. This is graphic design. This is graphic design. No, but you get it. Carry a sketchbook, carry an iPad. You can draw on your phone nowadays. So when you see a design that inspires you, you can sketch it down. And those have been my top five graphic design tips that I wish I knew starting out. I hope this helps you. And thank you again to HowExpert.com for teaming up with your boy. Now go design!